Hi, I'm Rosario Dawson here at the Weed Network Symposium in the UK. Um, so, Rosario, we wanted to know about kind of your journey to where you are now, like when you discovered and how you got here, and some of the obstacles that you faced. Yeah, uh, I, um, I'm, I'm a New Yorker. I was born in Coney Island, Brooklyn. Um, I don't know my biological father. My mom was a teenage mom. We moved to Manhattan when I was around four or five. Um, we had slumlord apartments and just not great. So my parents moved into a squat in the Lower East Side. Um, and that was interesting. You know, I had a childhood where we had like, you know, cast iron stoves and plastic for windows and plywood for a door with a chain and having to bring compound buckets upstairs to take showers and stuff. And watching my parents, you know, and the people in the building, you know, put in the electricity, you know, electricity and the sewage lines and all that kind of stuff. And it was a really particular experience growing up in Manhattan and, you know, one that, you know, as gentrified as it is now, like it's really just not possible anymore. Um, so I was, I had a, I had a pretty interesting background, you know, and sort of an, an exposure to a lot of things and obviously Manhattan and New York can expose you to so many things, but being as poor as we were, being able to be in that center of the world was, was so powerful and instrumental to the education that I have now being able to travel with my career and doing all the different things that exposed me to so much. And also with my, you know, philanthropy and activism and, and, you know, I, I was exposed to, you know, the housing issues and crises and the police riots and, you know, rat infestations and, and teen pregnancy and dropout rates and HIV AIDS crisis. And, you know, I saw how, especially with economics, how everything was interrelated with each other. And I think that's a big part of the reason why, you know, in 2004, I co-founded Voto Latino, which is a uh, voting organization to mobilize Latinos in the political process. And, you know, for me, it's like I work with a lot of different organizations. I'm on a lot of different boards. I work with V-Day. You know, we're doing a memory and monologue, a rant and a prayer on March 26th at the Lyric Theater. And people can come through. Um, you know, we're also pushing for a billion women rising, you know, next um, Valentine's Day because one in three women will be beaten, raped, killed, or in some way abused in their lifetime. And those are astronomical numbers and that means about a billion women on the planet and so we're hoping that a billion people will rise and 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 give a show of what that movement can be and be that critical mass to make the change that we can see right now um so it's like i work with all these different organizations and i see it all really boiling down to our citizenry and, and collaborating with each other there are these institutions and organizations already in place doing great work and being able to vote and voting with your money, voting, you know, with your ballot are all really incredible ways to, and, and really small ways that we can all be active. And I think that's the thing that's been most encouraging to me, you know, like paying your taxes and voting are some of the first political and activist sort of experiences that we have. We don't really think of them that way because so much of what we do and who we are has been perverted and the language has been taken away from us. And I feel like this is the time to organize. It's great to be here at the We Network UK Symposium. I was never able to be a part of it in the States. And I love June. I love Dee. I love what they're doing. I love preaching to the choir. I think it's awesome that, you know, if anyone's out there is actually watching this and listening to me ramble on, that I hope it's useful in some way, shape, or form to share your stories because that's what's motivated me. That's what's got me through the different ruts in my life. You know, I was discovered and, you know, and, and because someone reached out to me and saw something in me, I was able to audition and get that role and keep pushing that door open, you know, and, and use that opportunities. And it's people helping other people. And so I try to give that back in any way, shape, or form, not because I have to, but because it's, it feels good to pay it forward. And so much of who we are as human beings is just giving to each other. You know, the whole anti-slavery movement was a bunch of people all coming together to help strangers, people who would never be able to even thank them. You know, and so I think that network is what's so important. And that's why I think we network is so important because it's recognizing that we have the critical mass already and that if we just connect with each other and talk with each other and share each other's stories, that we can do it. So. Thank you so much for having us.